Almost two years since a series of deadly natural gas explosions here in Massachusetts, Columbia Gas has pleaded guilty to breaking a pipeline safety law. The company will also pay the largest criminal fine ever imposed for breaking this law, $53 million. Eyewitness News reporter Logan Wilbur is live in studio now with the details on today's plea agreement and how the company is taking responsibility. Logan. Shannon Mike, the Merrimack Valley explosions resulted in one death, nearly two dozen injuries, and more than 130 buildings being destroyed. At the time, a fire chief on the scene described it as Armageddon. Now, 17 months later, Columbia Gas is being held criminally and financially responsible. The FBI's announcement of a plea agreement coming down first thing Wednesday morning. Columbia Gas is pleading guilty to felony violations of the Federal Pipeline Safety Act. Today's settlement is a sobering reminder that if you decide to put profits before public safety, you will pay the consequences. As part of the agreement, Columbia Gas is admitting to knowingly violating minimum safety standards during the pipeline replacement and also will be paying a $53 million fine to the federal government. Though the FBI agent overseeing the case says dollars can't undo damages. No amount of money can make up for the disastrous gas explosions in the Merrimack Valley that leveled homes, displaced thousands of families, and caused a heartbreaking loss of life. The $53 million will be used as part of an effort to prevent tragedies like this from happening again. Those amounts will be paid as a fine to the federal government to prompt other utilities to better focus on safety concerns and ensure that NYSource and Columbia Gas do not profit from the Lawrence Project. U.S. Attorney Andrew Lelling says according to an internal company notice, Columbia Gas knew as early as 2015 and still disregarded a known safety risk despite the potential to lead to a catastrophic event, including fires and explosions. We reached out to Columbia Gas for a response to today's agreement. A spokesperson tells us the company takes full responsibility for these tragic events and says this is an important part of addressing the impact. Go on to adding, the company's focus remains on enhancing safety and regaining the trust of customers. Now, in addition to the $53 million fine, both victims and Columbia Gas are waiting for a court to approve a $143 million settlement for property damages and other costs associated with the explosions. The decision is expected to come tomorrow in Essex County Superior Court. Live in studio, Logan Wilbur, Eyewitness News.